if you are a quest or quest 2 user then we can agree that there are not many games we can try out from the oculus store and the reason behind that is simple they want us to experience high quality games that meet certain criteria that they have set and not all the games and apps are able to meet those criteria so if you are somebody who wants to explore and try out these games that did not make it the oculus store or if you are a developer who just want to play some game and get some inspiration then this video is for you I will show you how you can install SideQuest and sideload these application onto your headset. So what exactly is SideQuest? So SideQuest is a platform that allows you to do a lot of things. You can play test prototypes, you can explore VR games, you can find free demos, you can find early access games, you can even find the games that are there on App Labs. Now apart from that, it will allow you to do all these things that are listed over here. If you want, you can even give your feedback to the developers to help them improve their game as well. Now, before we download SideQuest, there are certain prerequisites like you need to have a laptop or a PC with either Windows, Mac OS or Linux installed. Next, you'll need to have a USB-C to USB-A cable or you can even use a USB-C to USB-C cable that comes along with Oculus Quest 2 if your device has the hardware for it. Next, you will need to enable the developer mode. There are a lot of videos out there online which tells you how to do that. So you can go ahead and check it out. I will leave a link for that in the description as well. Now getting SideQuest is really simple. All you need to do is visit their website which is sidequestvr.com and then click on get SideQuest. Here you will be presented with two different options. One is the easy installer and the other one is advanced installer. So if you are somebody who just wants to try out the apps and have fun then go ahead and install the easy installer. But if you are a developer who wants to try out different games that, are, that you can find online and if you want to stream your experience onto your PC and do other things then you have to download the advanced installer. Now I'm going to go ahead and download this one for windows now if you are on some different platform then you can click on show more and here you have the options to download for whichever operating system that you are using all right so let's click the download for windows and this will take some time for it to get downloaded so i will see you once that's done once you have it downloaded you can double click to open the installer and in here you can choose as to whether you want it for all the computers or if it's just you so i'm going to select me then you need to select as to where you want it and click on install and so with just a few clicks, we are able to install the side quest. Now you can go ahead and create an account if you don't have one or you can log in if you're already using it. Next, make sure that your headset is switched on. Then go ahead and connect it to your device. So here I'm going to connect it. And once it's connected, the uh, side quest should be able to detect your device. And even though it's detected, there's one more step that we need to follow. And that is when you wear your headset here, you will get an op you'll get a pop-up which says we want to allow the connected device to access files. You got to click on allow. And then this should actually restart. So there you go. So now it is connected. Uh, this time around, uh, it's been actually connected and you can uh, transfer your files around. Next, what we want to do is click on this particular icon here and click on install SideQuest to a headset. So click on that and it's going to take a couple of minutes for it to get installed. So once you get the message that the latest version has been installed, you can go inside your headset and click on the app library. And at the top right corner, you can click on the drop down and select unknown sources. And from here, you can click on SideQuest. Now this should open the SideQuest app. Let's uh, wait for it to load. There we have it. So it's asking us to enter this code in the link. So we need to go to the link sdq.st slash link. And we need to enter the code that they have shown here. So let's do that. So this is the link that we need to go sdq.st slash link and press enter and let's go ahead and enter the six digit code that is displayed on your headset. And once you have entered the code, it'll ask if you want to link the app. So you can click on link app and then go back into your headset. And here we have it. So once it's links, it's going to display all the apps that are available for you. So you can go ahead and scroll, look at, have a look at all the different apps that are there. And say, suppose you want to try something, for example, attack on quest. You can click on that and then uh, you can accept their uh, policies if you'd like to. And then here you have an option called download app side load. So you can click on that and it should automatically download and install the app for you. You can have a look at the progress over here and I will see you once it's done downloading. So while installing, if you're getting this pop-up that you're not allowed to install apps for unknown sources, then you can go ahead and click on settings and click on this, which says <coughs> allow from the source. So basically you're allowing Quest to install sources. And then it'll ask you to install it. Click on install. Yeah, and then it says that it has been successfully installed. So that's about it. So if you want to play this game right now, all you need to go is go to your app library, unknown sources, and we have attack on quest. You can click on that and that should launch the game for you. So what you saw right now was a way to install the apps directly onto your headset. 
But if you want to install it from your PC, for example, if you want to try out a game from itch.io, all you need to do is uh, download that first. So here I'm going to select a game, click on download and uh, it's going to show, yeah, click on save and it's going to get downloaded. So once you have it downloaded, open SideQuest and then click on this particular symbol here, which says install app from folder on computer. And then you can go to downloads or wherever you're downloaded, select the APK and then it's going to start installing it here. You can check the progress by clicking on this icon and it's saying it's currently getting installed and that's done. So the app has been successfully installed. So now if you want to try it out, it's the same procedure again. You need to go inside your headset and go to app library from this drop down, select unknown services. And here you can see that the app has been installed. You can click on it and that should run the app for you. And there we have it. All right, so now I'm going to show you one last cool feature that SideQuest has to offer and that is streaming. So to stream your content onto your laptop or PC, what you need to do is you need to click on this particular uh, icon here and then you need to click on Quest 2 crop so that what you see is cropped according to the Quest 2 device. If you're using Quest, then you can select Quest 1 crop and then click on start streaming. And this will open up a new window. So let me bring it here. So there you go. So this is my home environment that you can see and whatever I'm able to see, it's going to get streamed and then you can use a recording software like OBS to record it and then show it to anybody you liked. All right. So with that, you have learned about SideQuest and you saw how to sideload apps onto your device and try out and explore various VR games that are there online. Now, if you felt that this video has helped you, then I'd highly appreciate it if you can leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about VR and learn how to develop, then you should definitely check out this video over here. And as always, I will see you in the next one.